How's that? Well, it's 2023, mid-Feb. It's time to hunt those, hopefully, yeah, fully calcified, hardened, stripped, mature stags. Uh, also, chamois buckaroos in town as well. So, I've got about eight, nine days uh, in a location in the South Island. And it's definitely going to be have a feed country, but it's going to be pretty cool because it is new country for me. I haven't been here before, so it's all new, and it's kind of a bit more of an adventure when it's the unknown. So I'm in the bush. I've probably got. I've already done a couple hours in the bush, just slogging away, navigating through bluffs. Probably got another. I don't know, two, three hours of just navigating the bush, bluffs, till I reach the tops, and then it's pretty easy country from there for the rest of the trip. So hopefully find a nice mature stag and get one on the deck but otherwise it's gonna be epic but otherwise hey I'm gonna have a feed no doubt <laughs> to get down off the tops all good following the route that is described in a resource spectacular country I've got this big head basin that I'm hunting the winds a bit all over the shop I've seen the five or so chamois before which is pretty cool far out it's pretty awesome country there was a chamois I saw for a quick moment he had a good body on him but he was in the grim reaper country and I was not not keen on a kind of have it have a crack but couldn't get a good eye on him anyway he disappeared into the bus system so yeah plan tonight is to just sit here I've got a bit of a vantage point and just see what kind of comes out hopefully the wind doesn't just keep kind of funneling up valley it's kind of swirling all over the shop so I'll just let it settle it's supposed to be a southeast tomorrow so that should be really good for this catchment and then yeah hopefully see a few deer it's good to see some chamois but I want to see some deer Day three highlights for the last 12 hours have been the old bush devils behind me making all sorts of noise last night. Like I didn't have the 22, would have plugged them. Little bastards. Seeing a nice chamois buck in the bluffs. He's uh, not bad. No chance of getting him though, going he's in that Grim Reaper country. And the catabatic has just been bending me over backwards. Pain in the ass, like absolute pain in the ass. Thought it'd be a southeasterly, so it'd be coming up valley. The catabatic was just too strong, it was just ripping down valley and most likely scenting up the catchment and spooking all the animals. So, yeah, a bit of a challenge. Size not abundant either. A few tussock, a few tussock shrubs have been kind of nubbed all the way down to the ground, but otherwise, yeah, ground size not, not abundant. There's not fresh droppings, there's you know, a few here and there, it's like footprints, not that much. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to head down valley and see if I can just find the sign that's the key find the sign and then you'll be in the go so that's the plan and see how hopefully you can kind of uncover a few deer but I know this is Waro country so that's why I'm doing things a wee bit differently and hunting more of the 
the valley floor and hunting up on the faces and trying to find a few slips and things. So yeah, just a different challenge rather than the top stuff. That's real barren, lots of chamois, but just yeah, there's absolutely no deer. So that's the plan. I'm just gonna crack on as normal. Six, seven hours been absolute grind. Barely got over one kilometer per hour. Just absolute suck fest. Oh, it's just that typical bush that just is slow going and you get the deer trails here and there, which makes it real good when they dry up. Oh, it absolutely is horrific. Anyway, I'm about to have a bit of a feed or a late lunch, almost dinner, and then set up my tent and, and get ready for the evening hunt so hopefully I'm at the head of the valley the wind's pushing up so it better stay out of and not then switch around bastard but hopefully fingers crossed put on the hard yards and I can find that that nice mature animal Morning team, well it's day six and I had a bloody rough night's sleep last night. My goodness, I don't know what the hell's going on. Normally I've been having a wee bath in the river before I went to bed, or you know, a couple hours before you go to bed, so you're all fresh and clean. But I didn't do that and I was itching and hot sweats and all this stuff. I think it was just because my body's just in shock. It's, it's definitely feeling it today. The legs are hurting. I've got a big climb today as well, so potentially a thousand meters climbing or 500 meters if the wind's too strong I might stay in the bush and camp up rather than just get blown up on the tops but yesterday was uneventful it was just lots of boulder hopping and bush bush bashing and sidling and trying to follow deer trails which were not as strong as suggested so my body is just feeling man my legs are sore awesome valley didn't hold any deer the wind was just going up and down up and down so frustrating. I'm sure there's deer in here, but the wind is just playing hard ball. But anyway, so what I'm going to do now is I'm all fueled up. I'm just going to get charging and hopefully the bush bash isn't too much of a doozy.
last night uh, walking out tomorrow. Nice to see a couple young stags finally. Shame they weren't mature, but hey, that's hunting. Seen a chamois buck earlier in the day as well. So yeah, chamois total still well in the 40s. Got dinner going, about to have that, and then just retire for one last night, and then back to the urban jungle. But but a bit of sweet. You know, you got the creature comforts at home, and then your loved ones and your friends, but then you leave this, which is always a bit sobering, a bit sad in, in a way. But hey, it is what it is. But I am looking forward to just hitting that reset button and trying a new spot because this spot was an absolute dud. Uh, anyway, same old routine. I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Down from that side creek into the main river now. It was a pretty cool morning, seen about 20 plus chamois. Uh, one of the same sex from last night, but otherwise no, no new deer seen. Got a bloody brutal climb coming up, about 600 meters of, up the guts. Hopefully the bush is not too bad. Uh, a few deer trails when I was coming down just previously. So hopefully going up, there's some more. Makes it nice and easy. Oh, I'm hurting. It's gonna be an absolute grind getting up this one. Just got to suck it up and callous that mind, as old David Goggins says. But what a way to end the trip. 600 meter climb of suffering. And then that's an easy route all the way down to the road end. Alrighty, I'm going to get cracking and charge on up. Well, at the start of this mission, I said I'd have a feed. Now I'm absolutely popping. Woo! Almost at the top of the ridge. All the hard yards have been done. What a feeling. For those that are wondering, how do you do these big miles? Pretty much, you just gotta to get to the mindset of you just put your head down and get it done. It's just as simple as that. You don't think about it too much. You just put your head down, crack on, hour after hour, and before you know it, you finish the big mush. It's that easy. <laughs> I've been doing it for years though. And I guess, again, a David Goggers thing, you're callous in that mind. You never let quitting be on the table. You always just keep pushing and pushing and pushing. No matter how hard it gets, just step at a time. But honestly, the less you think about it, the easier it is. Oh, yes. The main ridge line's just up there. So I'm gonna sign off for this mission and I'll no doubt see you at the next epic. <laughs>
it's raw time. How good. Uh, I spent the last night, I walked in about three, four hours, and then I've walked in a few more hours now, and I've got a couple more to go <laughs> before I kind of set up a wee base camp. Uh, absolutely beautiful country. This is a new country for me as well. Just loving it. I'm a big, big fan of exploring new places. I don't really like just going to the same old stomping grounds. I really like to look into every nook and cranny, spur, ridge, saddle, coal, all that good stuff. Anyway, at the moment I'm just getting a, getting a bricky on, about to have a brew, and then I'm going to charge up Valley, and that's probably going to another couple of hours of slogging, and then set up that base camp, and hopefully the stags are roaring. Looks like there's some terrible weather coming, uh, but a good cold snap is on the forecast. Like people will say, oh, the cold snap brings out the roaring, who knows? Will it be the moon, bloody, who knows? So hopefully, I'll just see a few deer. I've already seen a few chamois up on the tops, but I've seen about three or four but hopefully see a nice mature stag. That's the goal of the trip. I've got about nine days worth of food and I am ready. Cool, all right team, I'm gonna go get my brew and charge up. So I've been working pretty hard all afternoon, sidling constantly along this face, putting in some hard yards, and lo and behold, I've shot myself another 10 inch chamois. Now, what's interesting about this is it's actually a doe and a real old fat lid doe as well. It's only got one eye, the other eye, one of the eye is just absolutely toast. And so, also, it's very similar to my chamois bark in terms of character. So it's got heaps of spread, heaps of spread. So nearly uh, nine inches of spread, whereas my chamois bark's got seven inches. Measuring over, just over 10 and a half inches on its longest side, 10 and 3 eighths on its shorter side. But it's an absolutely phenomenal chamois doe and a real battler and a real character. Man, so have a look at this. Incredible animal, really incredible animal. So, just going to save this moment. Worked bloody hard over the last year. Last, just about a month now, now it's a bit My last big trip I've seen over 60 plus shabby. So, actually, it's still got a day now, so it's been a while since so many. So, it's good. Good management, also, as part of my decision. And then I saw the eye, so that was, yeah, she was real struggling. And just. What can I say? The hard yards are worth it. The hard yards are worth it. So hopefully now, a big stag just pops out and then can get the old alpine double. But anyway, I am going to butcher this animal, harvest as much meat as I can, take the head off for, for memories, and just really savour the moment. As I'm walking back, I'm sidling along the face and I'm going to drop back down into the bush and just tuck up in there. Reminiscing on all the hard yards I've put in for many years now. I think I shot my, my 10 inch bark in 2019. So it's now 2023. It's a long time between drinks. There's a heck of a lot of mountains climbed. I've done so many missions where I put in, you know, 13, 14, 1500 meter vertical on a weekend and just kept on doing it, mission after mission. 
and coming home empty-handed so that's one hell of a feeling shooting an animal like that because it doesn't come around very often and you've really got to earn those 10 inch chamois really got to earn them and I've done it all by leg work as well no choppers wouldn't want it any other way but gosh it just makes that moment when you do secure a 10 inch chamois it's just one of the best feelings in the world character you've built and gosh hope the next one doesn't take that much work but people often go oh trophy hunters bloody just have dead things hanging up for me they represent thousands of vertical meters climbed hundreds of days in the hills they're just a real physical reminder of what I have dedicated to the life to my life in the mountains and it's just brings a smile to my face when you look at that and you go you freaking got after it to get that one <laughs> oh gee what's how good anyway team i am going to keep cracking along this place and then hopefully drop down in the bush and find a nice campsite i've already identified a couple and then yeah right out in the next couple next few days of storms <laughs> That wraps up another mission in the hills. Eight days, seen a few chamois and zero deer. No sign, no footprints, no droppings, nothing. Explored heaps of country, tried my absolute best, which is I think a part of two takeaways from this trip, is you gotta make sure you try. Explore all options. Don't leave any stone unturned. And I think for young fellas out there, take that advice on board and make sure you just try. Because if you try, you create opportunities, and those opportunities can lead to success. Lastly as well, is just get every last drop out of this world. You don't know how long you got, and there's no better life lived than a life in the, in the mountains, in the southern Alps, in the outdoors. Pick your poison, your modality, whatever it is. Fishing, hunting, tramping, mountain biking. Just get in the outdoors and you'll live a better life. These bloody sand flies. Get out of it, boy. But anyway, team. I'm certainly trying to live the best life I can, but hey, hopefully you've enjoyed this film and the journey I've been on to find another mature animal. It's been one hell of a journey. Hopefully it doesn't take as long, but hey, there's character being built and memories being created along the way, so that's what's important. Anyway team, till next time, keep charging.